when the sun had long gone down, Mama asked my sister and me to take the road to the end of the town to get a bucket of milk. Ooh, I dreaded to go. I dreaded a tree. Why does Mama always choose me when the night is so dark and the mind runs free? Come on, Frady Cat, my sister said. Don't hang back. I'm not hanging back, I said. I'm getting my hat. Your dumb hat, my sister said. It's too big for you. It makes you look stupid. Well, you don't have to wear it, I said. No, but I have to look at it, my sister said. Then look the other way, I said. Ooh, how dark it was, how dread it was, walking the road to the end of the town. For the halfway tree, the ghost eye tree was feared by all, the great and the small, who walked the road to the end of the town. What's the matter now, my sister said. My hat, I said, it slipped off. You're afraid, that's what my sister said. I am not, I said, I'm getting my hat. As we neared the tree, our walk slowed down, halfway down to the end of the town, hiding what we feared the most, pretending there would be no ghosts, pretending not to be afraid. There's nothing to fear, my sister said. There's nothing here but an old oak tree. No, there's nothing here, I said. There's nothing to fear in an old oak tree. But we ran past the tree as fast as we could. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. We felt so good that we started to sing, there's no such thing as a ghost. There's no such thing as a ghost. It's only a dream, my sister said. It's only a folly inside of your head. There's nothing to fear in an old oak tree. <laughs>